So what do we got down there? We got a haunted, haunted tunnel, tunnel leap. This is hell. Is hell this? Wait. Oh, that's not very friendly. Shaq was here. Not a very friendly place. So the uh, water got pretty deep just over there. I kind of like how you can see the reflection of the water on the top. That's pretty cool. So we're also going to get to some hibernating mosquito territory. He's alive, he's awake. Okay, let's see. So the fun part about these is figuring about how far do you want to go? And there's still quite a distance to go. I don't know if you can hear the echo. Hello! Still going. Hmm. Oh, look at that, a few more little skeeters. Okay, I have an idea for the cache. I found a little spot right about here. It's got a little hole underneath. We can stick a little tie. Stick a little tie up in there. And there we go. Attach a little container. So I've got my little bison here. Brand new. Got the log inside, ready to go. Just gonna camouflage it up with a bit of tape. Not that, you know, anybody's actually gonna see this if they're not looking for it, but never know. It's one of the things I like to do for more of a seamless camouflage is when you put the tape all the way around, you also, you, you cover up the, the, the seam of where the lid comes off. So you can take a knife or a, or a, a sharp edge, like a, a pair of scissors, and just score around that little seam, and you've got a nice flush Lush camel with an easy pop off lid. Bingo. I've got to be careful where I sit because that is not very appetizing. Not that I'm thinking about eating it. Okay, so final step I've got the tie connected to my container and I just want to get a tie into the hole and then I can connect it through. There we go. And now to clean things up. Take that off and that off. Good to go. Just so you can see what I'm seeing. This is in the corner. Would you keep going? After you find the cache? Time to head back. Okay, so this is quite the workout. Probably not so good for the knees though. Oh man. Hello, reflection. Still going. And we've come to the junction. Is this your only escape? So there's this uh, cool little thing that a lot of vloggers have been doing recently where they snap their fingers and it uh, switches day to night and night to day. And uh, so I was kind of curious recently if it would work in a culvert. So now that I'm here in this uh, creepy little junction here, I thought I'd actually try it out and see if it works. I didn't even know if I could do it, but it, will it work in the culvert? Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, 
that, that was the wrong light. Uh, let's try this again. And there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, wait a second. That's, that's not daytime. Did that trick work? It looks like it worked. The uh, light snap worked in the culvert, and uh, it's pretty good timing too. Because I mean, that's a freaky moon. That's the cache placed. We've uh, never done a culvert before. This is probably not the first one you want to do. But thanks for watching this video. If you like it, and uh, comment below if you've done a culvert cache before. If you've uh, crawled or how far you've crawled, maybe. And. Uh, did you enjoy it? Or do you not like spiders? Did you have to wear a hazmat suit like Geocache and Katie? So yeah, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and comment below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe using that little button there. Man, that moon it comes and it goes. Whoa, how much time passed there?